Hey, what's up everybody? So I wanted to do a guitar tutorial video for brand new's Jude Law and a Semester Abroad. And I'm surprised because it's it's such a great guitar riff and great overall rock song in my opinion. And I know people like to refer to it as emo or pop punk. But to me, this is a great rock song with a great rock guitar riff. And I haven't seen it done out there, so I wanted to post this uh, for those of you who want to play along at home. Uh, just so you know, when we go through this tutorial, I'm going to be in standard tuning because i got a free-floating bridge. I keep this guitar in standard, but they are a half step down if you want to play along to this at home. And really, it's one of those riffs that you practice it slowly, you'll get up to speed, and it'll, you'll get it in no time. So let's, let's dive into it. So we're just going to go over the main riff of this song, and as far as the rest of it goes, uh, if you guys like this video, let me know, and then I can maybe upload that another time. To start out, I like to break this song down, or this main riff, into three different parts, three different finger shape, basically, that if you stick to those, um, you don't have to do a lot of excess moving with your fingers. Okay, so we're going to start with this first shape. What you're going to do is you're going to fret the fifth string through the first string on your fourth fret. So I'm pressing down on the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first strings on the fourth fret. Then you're going to leave your middle finger on the fifth fret fourth string right there. And then you can put your pinky down now, or you can do it later, but you're going to need your pinky down on the seventh fret second string. So it's going to look like this, this chord shape right here. This is the chord shape for the first part of this main riff. So to start, you're going to palm mute the fifth string. Remember, we keep this finger shape right here. You're going to palm mute the fifth string, palm mute the fourth string, open, hit the open third string, back to palm muted fifth string. So it should sound like this. Okay, and then we're going to go from there. Open on the second string, open on the third string, open on the fifth string, back to open on the third string. So very slow. Remember we have palm muted fifth, palm muted fourth, open third string, palm muted fifth, open second, open third, open fifth, open third. that simple. That's the first part and probably the hardest part of the song. Let's go through it slow one more time between before we move on. Got palm muted on the fifth, palm muted on the fourth, open on the third, back to palm muted on the fifth, open second, open third, open fifth, open third. That's the first part of the riff. Okay, we're going to go to the second part. Okay, the second chord shape here is sort of like a little power chord thing where we have our index finger on the second fret fifth string. Then we're going to put our ring finger on the fourth fret fourth string. And then we're going to put our pinky down on the third fret, or sorry, third string fourth fret. So you got this power chord here and then you're emphasizing it with your pinky. So index finger on the 2nd fret 5th string, ring finger on 4th ring, 4th string 4th fret, pinky on the 4th fret 3rd string. You're going to hold that shape for the second part of this riff, and then we're going to go back to uh, the picking pattern. Okay, so with this picking pattern, what you're going to do is you're going to hit palm mute the 6th and 5th string. Remember, holding this shape right here, you're going to hold the 6th string and 5th string palm muted. You're going to hit those together just once, but I'm sh okay. Then you're going to hit the fifth string palm muted after you hit them both together. After you hit the fifth palm muted, you can come to the fourth, hit that open. Back to the fifth string palm muted. So 
So fifth and sixth string palm muted, fifth palm muted, uh, fourth string open, fifth string palm muted. Then you're going to hit the third string open, you're going to hit the fourth string open, you're going to hit the fifth string open, and back to the fourth string. So very slowly here, fifth and sixth palm muted together then to the 5th palm muted, then the 4th string open, 5th string palm muted, open 3rd string, open 4th string, open 5th string, open 4th string. That's it, that's it for the second part. Okay, here's this third finger shape. You're really gonna leave your ring finger and pinky finger where they are. All you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your index finger and you're gonna put your middle finger on the sixth string fourth fret right here. So right now what I'm holding down, I have the sixth string fourth fret, then the A string is open, not holding down the A string at all. Then with the fourth string and third string, my index finger is on the fourth string and pinky is on the third string. So fourth fret, sixth string, open A string, fourth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, third string. So you're gonna hold this shape right here. So here we go, to start this riff, we're gonna hit the sixth string twice. Remember your finger's on the fourth fret, sixth string. Then you're gonna have your pinky and ring finger on the third string and the fourth string, fourth fret. You're gonna hit those together, open. Oops. Then you're gonna come back to the sixth string with your middle finger. You hit the sixth string, palm muted twice again. So, so far we have. Now this, on your fret hand, you're going to lift your pinky up. You're going to place your index finger on the third string, third fret. So this is the shape I'm holding right here. So lift your pinky up from where it was. You're going to replace that with your index finger on the third fret, third string. And you're going to hit your third string and fourth string open once. So, so far, slowly, we got. You're going to come back to the 6th string, palm muted. Then you put your pinky back down. Then you're going to hit the 3rd string and 4th string together open again. So nice and slow. Okay, then you come back to the sixth string and palm mute that two more times. So let's do that slowly. And then to finish this out, you're gonna go back to that power chord. So index finger on the second fret, fifth string. Ring and pinky, leave them where they are. You're going to hit that chord, those three strings, three times. So all together for that last part. So let's go through the whole thing nice and slow. Now when you're transitioning back to the beginning of the riff, what I like to do is I like to just hold bar the fourth fret, fifth string through the first string, put my middle finger where it's supposed to be on the fourth string, fifth fret, and I leave my pinky off. That gives me time to do the picking with my hand until I need the string on the second string. So leave it off like this and I'm doing. Then once I come to the second string, I'm gonna put my pinky down. 
That just gives me more time in the transition. So one more time real slow here. And you guys, that's it. That's the main riff of the song. So if you guys like this video, please like, please subscribe. Um, let me know if you like it and then I'll post the rest of the song. There's some fills and stuff in there. Um, but I, if nobody watches, then I'm not going to waste my time. Anyway, that's brand news. Jude Law and a semester abroad. Thank you guys.